Hello, from Chattanooga. Tennessee. USA, we're Seth and Pete. Maybe you know us, maybe you don't. If you don't, I just wanna sit down. How do we, how do we, how do we film a packing video? Am I really far away? Yeah, go back to back. No. Okay. I'm, you're Steph, I'm Pete. I don't look okay, okay. Yeah. We left home, Chattanooga, Tennessee, where we've been living for six years, where I'm from, um, on September 1st, 2021, and today is April 18th, 2023. I'm pretty sure it's April 18th. Yeah. Which means we've been traveling full time for about 18 months, and this is one of those videos that I want to make for like our personal time capsule, because I'm really proud of what we've been traveling with. Um, but also, I like watching packing videos, and most importantly, I want to unpack. So we got home last night, like midnight, and we're filming this because we're very excited to unpack, but we thought Wait, we'd share. You want to unpack? I'm the one that normally unpacks everybody. Pete normally unpacks. I'm ready to unpack. So we're gonna share what we have traveled with full, full time for 18 months. One major disclaimer is that our parent, my parents have visited us like four or five times throughout our travels. So we have been lucky to like have things brought to us and send things home. But we're gonna talk about what we pack in, our suitcases, our toiletries, Hayes' bags so of kick stuff and our backpacks. Um, but here's what we travel with. We each have one away, it's the bigger carry-on, and then we each have a backpack. We also started with different stuff than this. This is kind of the last six months, but when we started, what did we have? We had a duffel for Hayes, we had a stroller, we had a car seat, and we had a travel cart as well. So we definitely- And a diaper bag. And a diaper bag. Insert picture here of when we left Chattanooga. Yeah. And so that's what we started with, and then slowly over time, we, you know, sent the travel cart home, we left the stroller in Vietnam, we lost a car seat on an airline, blah, 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 blah. So let's open suitcases? Is that what you do? Let's do it. Okay, so on this side, I love the away bag, love it so much, not sponsored, cannot imagine traveling without this. Uh, have loved packing in it every single time. I think we're both those weirdos who, like, I kind of like packing. I still kind of like packing. Sometimes it's much more organized. First up, packing cubes or not is always a debate on here. I'm gonna get to that in a little bit. Uh, I'm pro pouches, but maybe not packing cubes in the traditional sense. The way I like to fold is like the Marie Convo envelope style. So I'm not a roller, but I am a like fold it and have it stand up. This isn't the nicest it's ever been because we knew we were coming home. And this is also, we've been in Europe for about six weeks. So this is more winter clothes. Every other place we went was warm. So I have some summer clothes here, uh, but I have way more pants than I started with because we were just in the UK. So I've actually got four pairs of pants, which is dumb. For the most of the trip, I was traveling with one or two. Four pairs of pants, um, a few tops. This is so boring, but two things I will highlight. So the warmest things I have the whole year was a uh, year and a half. This jean jacket, which is nice for like Asian countries and when it's like not super hot, but it's not actually that warm. And so in Japan, I picked up this Uniqlo, whatever this is, and I tend to layer it. And I also have a big scarf to see in my backpack. Um, big fan of layering. Big, not fan of being cold. <laughs> and then one set of pajamas, t-shirt, shorts. I was traveling with sweatpants at the beginning, but they take up too much space. And I find everywhere we are, we can, this is warm enough. Underwear, if anybody needs an underwear recommendation, I like the wire cutters recommendation for, this feels weird. <laughs> Done. The Uniqlo, um, I don't know, like seamless, breathable, very great. In here I also have a hat, layers, layers, bras, yeah, great. Um, I also am not a fan of like separating laundry in any way that makes any sense, but I tend to throw dirty underwear in this little pouch and other, everything else just, you know, I'm not that organized. And then, if you're traveling a lot in Asia, like we were, I am a big fan I don't know where the second one is, that is worrisome. Oh yeah, of like flowy, light, wrinkle-free dresses. So if I see something, I buy it more than once. This is a Zara dress and it is great because um, it's like midi or whatever. So it's not super short and it has sleeves. So you can go to temples and stuff and still not be super hot. So we were just in India for three months and stuff like this I find great. And then we were just in England and the UK. So I bought a pair of tights on the road, layered it under, good to go also have it in green. And along the same lines, we spent some time in Hoi An, so we had some stuff made. And I love a, uh, what do you call this? Like a jumpsuit, like pants, like one item, but pants or whatever. So you'll see me wearing this all the time. Okay, almost done. Whoa. This, oh, yeah. 
I was gonna say you got this. It's a nice. beautiful hand printed scarf from Gujarat, uh, India. And this is Idli, one of my cats, our cats. Okay, we're actually at my parents' house. Purse. I do not carry a purse. I didn't carry a purse before we traveled. I still don't carry a purse. What I do carry is a Bagu brand canvas bag. It's got a zip pocket for like wallet and important things. It snaps closed, so it's not super secure, but enough that you're not gonna fall out. And it can be over the shoulder or, or not. This is what I carry every single day with my cameras, my wallet, everything. Okay, this side of the bag is where, honestly, everything goes to shit. So this, this is Ani, who was given to us in Scotland for Haze. Not packing cubes, but miscellaneous pouches. So it's, for example, this is all of my swim gear. I hope so, I believe. And then this packing cube is actually all of my summer stuff I didn't need in the UK. So tank tops, shorts. What are you trying knows? to say about the British weather? I did not need any tank tops in the UK in April, and you probably don't need them in July either. So that's that's how I like to use packing cubes, is like stuff I want to put away and not deal with. Shoe-wise, um, for most of the trip I traveled with three pairs of shoes, sandals that like look a bit nicer but are still really comfortable, sneakers which I wore yesterday, and those Birkenstocks that are like um, rubber and can be washed, those are like my go-to. They were so destroyed that I ordered a new pair here, so I left those in England, but then we spent a month and a half in Europe, so I did buy a pair of uh, boots. I am a slave to my flat iron. I know some people out there will understand that. And then again, this is miscellaneous. Um, I don't love the like big, chunky travel adapters, so I tend to always have like random ones. My favorite are like the teeny tiny little ones that is somewhere else. Um, but if we're gonna be somewhere a long time, so we're like in India for three months, I just bought this, which is the Indian one, and then has a couple of USD, USB and a couple of plugs. Same thing for Europe, they're bulky, um, but in an Airbnb where you don't wanna be like running around the house looking for outlets and then like having an individual outlet one, big fan of this. Or you could get one of those multi-purpose ones and one of these, and that probably makes more sense. And then this is where like random chargers that have not been organized end up. Um, this is whiskey for my father. <laughs> Honestly, no. Oh, this is like extra toiletry things. Like if I have, you know, more of the same product, which I don't like to do, but sometimes you end up with. There's also, thank you to uh, Marie from Beauty and Soul. We just saw her in London and she um, sells Korean beauty products in the UK and gave me like so many goodies that I can't wait to try out. Tampons, but another pro travel tip. I am a big fan of my IUD. I'll get my period, one less thing to pack. That's not anyway. And then our new Daruma doll. I don't know if you have been watching us a while, but we had a Daruma doll, which we believe sort of led us to this year of travel. That sounds very woo-woo, but we made a video about bringing it back to the Japanese temple where we purchased a new one. And so we're waiting to accomplish our next goal. Oh, his nose is broken, uh, but we have been carrying him around. I hope that doesn't negate the effect. No, no, no. Okay. The other one was also a bit bad. More packing cubes, lavender spray, a flashlight Hayes got given, socks, soap. What's my bag? Your turn. All right. Mine is going to be a lot quicker and a lot briefer because it's very similar to Stephanie's. But, all right, let's open up this side. Light step set. These. Can't talk highly enough about these away bags. But the best thing is they're so durable. Like we have been traveling 18 months with these. We have taken them on all kinds of streets and in all different kinds of climates, conditions, all that kind of stuff. And they have not failed us once. I mean, they're incredible. All right, I have like a little shaving kit here. I carry our LL Bean uh, travel. Do that next. Okay, we're gonna do that next. My clothes, I mean, do you want me to pull these out? No, just... Okay, I, I basically have shirts, a couple of t-shirts, some shorts, swim shorts, all very boring. Um, I don't use this part of my away case that much, actually, like Stephanie, but it is a nice way to keep this side of the bag stuff in it. Uh, oh. Manta sleep mask. Manta sleep mask, if you want one. Well, is that in the this, this video is not sponsored, but we love them and we have a link, so... Very good, very, very good. All right, I, uh, shoe-wise, like Stephanie, I have a pair of sneakers, but I also have a pair of these Birkenstocks, the rubber ones, they are incredible. Um, and I have just like a pair of these sort of like, these are Toms, just flat, like canvasy type shoes, great for going out. 
Okay, I've got just more shorts, pair of jeans. I carry this, which I'm, I'm definitely not gonna go through it because it's packed, but it's basically, it's got some, still got some COVID tests in it, uh, but it's also just all of our just medical supplies if we ever need anything for Which don't pays. bring them from home because you can get everything yeah. everywhere, usually more, usually cheaper. So we, that bag probably has medicine from like at least 15 different countries. We always have to like Google it when things get sick. But, but also really useful to have stuff, right? Because you never know when you are in an emergency and there has been a couple of times where we've needed stuff, you know, and it's uh, very useful to have it. So I would also recommend that you do travel with some medical supplies. And travel with it, but don't like over purchase yeah, yeah, yeah. for every scenario because they have pharmacies in every country. Um, and then I also have a bag of, so light stuff, I have the, um, pinky type version of it and I love this I mean I use this I don't travel with it like on a travel day but then uh, as soon as we get to wherever we're staying I get it straight out I put a load of stuff in here for haze um, and it's just really 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 useful great if we're also grocery shopping all that kind that of stuff. That has so. replaced the diaper bag so maybe if you're new to travel and you're traveling with a kid and you're used to having a diaper bag at home and you may be like that seems unrealistic while traveling I would say it probably is and you can downsize to like an easy canvas bag. Love that one. I just have like two pairs of pants. That's all I've been traveling with. Um, and then last thing is in this little pocket here oh. is... Well, there you go. Apple AirTags. We got these like half, well no, probably more like recently, right? Yeah. In the last few we months. We haven't needed them yet, but it's, they're 30 bucks a piece. It's great. Yeah, we got yeah. them in Korean. It's great for peace of mind, especially on long, multiple transit travel days. Great to know that your luggage is still with you. Okay. All right, that was me, and then... Let's do Hazy or Toiletries. It's toiletries is there, I'll be quick. Um, I'm a big fan of Wirecutter, that's the New York Times review site. Um, they recommended this L.L. Bean bag that was like, I don't know, 30 bucks. It's kind of ugly. I love it. It has served us well. Um, the reason I love it is super durable, but it has a hook, um, which I was like not into this before full-time travel. I just packed pouches or whatever, but when you need this much stuff, so we, we share this. Um, and you can hang it up. So I've got makeup up here. Um, I will not talk about all my makeup, but my parents have been being me glossy, again, not sponsored, uh, this boy brow. I'm like a, a brow, mascara, maybe a little bit BB cream. But these, I love. These are from Fab India in India. This one's Jasmine. We have Jasmine and Cypress, and they're just like little perfume oil, but they're small, and if you like feel really nasty, they don't take up much space, and then you smell nice and fresh. So I always, when I go to India, they also cost like $3. Um, great gifts, but I always travel with this. So makeup in here, and then I wear contacts, a ridiculous, crazy kind of contact that requires you to carry around a lot of saline, um, which I don't have right now. You have random Allegra in here from a skin rash. It didn't make it into the medicine bag. And then in here, uh, we'll be quick. Contact solution. I hate having to wear contacts. I wish I was eligible for LASIK because this takes up a lot of space. Razor wise, again, none of this is sponsored. Nothing is sponsored in today's video. I love Billy. Um, it's kind of annoying if you're traveling because they mail you the razors. My parents have been bringing me the actual razors uh, where we've been because I love this razor. Um, dry shampoo. I don't like to shower every day. Oh, can I talk about this? This is a toothbrush that's it's not for trick. brushing your teeth. It's actually for cleaning Hazel's nails. And miraculously, I haven't brushed my teeth with it yet. Every time I look at it, I'm like, ooh, this could go really wrong, but I haven't done it. But his nails get so gross. Great hack. So it's brilliant for like washing. Miscellaneous makeup brush that I convinced myself I needed in the UK. Uh, whatever they call this, micellar water. Clean my eyes. Toothpaste. Um, actual toothbrushes. Girls, I love girls, women. I, these are face razors. I love them. I travel with them. Um, deodorant. Deodorant is one of the things. I will say that you can buy everything everywhere all the time. I watched that movie on the plane. Um, Deodorant is hard, and usually my parents bring us Arm & Hammer baking soda. This is not that, this is something else. M&M's, every toiletry bag needs M&M's. If you're potty training your child and you want to encourage him to go to the bathroom, I had a friend that was like, give them an M&M every time they go successfully. That's what that is. I have a lot of toothbrushes in here. <laughs> um, K-Beauty face wash. This is like hair ties oh, I, and I clips. Actually, I actually use that face wash. It's so well. good. Very a million nice. of these. Love a good clip all the time. You'll notice there's no hairbrush in here. I'll get to that later. More samples from Beauty and Soul. And then I always, um, we stay in a mix of hotels and Airbnbs. So anytime we are in a hotel, um, 
I resist the urge to take everything because I am that person usually, but I usually take one shampoo and one lotion so that we always have shampoo and lotion and don't have to like run out to the pharmacy and buy that. And, and the soap. Yeah, I don't use a lot of soap. Um, <laughs> and then the sides I use for like miscellaneous things. There's a sewing kit, there's Q-tips, there's extra razors. The sides are great. These things would floss your teeth. And then another tip of things I like to buy in India, uh, Latisse in the States is like really expensive. It makes your eyelashes just grow like crazy. Uh, but you can buy the like glaucoma medicine for $10 in India. This is not information anybody needed to know. But when I like am feeling like it, I, I use this and my eyelashes grow really long. Oh, you're welcome. Is anybody still watching this? Oh, and glasses. And I love this glass case from India, uh, Anoki. I've been using a version of this case. Actually, before I was just in India, I had one for like 10 years, so great. Okay, let's do Hayes' bag. So Hayes right. used to travel with a duffel bag that we could put on our bag, and I would recommend that for like when we are also traveling with a stroller or whatever, but ever since he could like walk through an airport or walk through town to a metro or whatever, this has been great. He loves to roll it, which makes for kind of an obnoxious travel day. Um, Wait, can you do that side? I'll do this side. Okay. Or what's more interesting? Side. All right, I'll do this side then. This is quick. close. So very, very simple. Uh, lots and lots of clothes. Um, we actually so used a, what do you call these? Packing Hi. cube. This is all of his Muji. summer stuff. Love so uh, yeah, we got these in Japan, right? In at Muji. Yeah. Uh, but fantastic. That was great for when we've just been in England because again, we haven't touched any of this stuff for over a month. He's got a couple of these we absolutely love and so does he these shoes from zara um we've had about how many just in my packing notes uh, how many variations oh my god we're on like i don't know we've had those all the time we love zara for everything the quality is better than other places and it's not that expensive so these have like really been the only kind of shoes that he's had up until recently in england we bought him some more like closed toes shoes but like oh these have been so good we they're so good we got like two pairs of them anyway um, he has, yeah, and then just the rest of it is all just, all just sort of pretty normal, standard. Pajamas, my friend gave me these pajamas from Amazon. I don't know what they are, but they're like tight and stretchy and they like fit your kid at like any age. Like they just last a long time and they're really light. Avuma? Av Ava? Oh, it's like a weird Ava Amazon Ava. brand, but they're, we travel with three pairs of these and they're really scrunchy and great. Okay. And a jacket. And swim stuff. Swim stuff, swim diaper. Crash guard, key for if you're going to like hot destinations. So we started with a lot more kid stuff because I don't know everybody makes you think like you need a thousand different things. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what we feel like we actually ended <laughs> up with after 18 months. All right just very very quick it's just a couple of like magazine type activity books that we've been like getting into. Um, number blocks he's absolutely obsessed with this at the moment and we also packed one of these like this is just like a big square Lego we call it Lego base. Uh, more on the Lego in a second. So, miscellaneous side. Actually, this is my tech bag. I was super organized when I left, and then this, right, what this has become now is like the like cords and stuff I don't use on a daily basis end up in here, and then I stick it in here. If, you, oh. if you've been following along, you'll know that I have stuff in all three of our cases. This is some English chocolate for a friend. Two hats. Um, again, I haven't been cold that much, so now we have two hats now. These cups oh. Hayes has had since he was probably five months old. They're from one of those like monthly subscriptions. I don't know, they did like a deal. We still have every single cup, which is incredible, but they're great for the beach, for showers. Like he hasn't outgrown them. This is probably one of my most prized travel possessions. It is a jug that we bought at a market in Mexico City. Um, we have had a lot of places we're not without bathtubs, and so sometimes the shower's up high. I don't know, you can use it for that. We've done a lot of bucket showers. We've also had a lot of just like horrendous water pressure. Um, and so for washing his hair, this is crucial. And then he also makes like sandcastles um, at the beach. And this is one of those things I'm like, we should dump this. Like it's stupid to carry this around. And I like, I will probably use this at home. And we've actually used it ourselves sometimes. Yeah, when there's like bad water pressure or a bucket shower and you want to like fill too, it's great. Um, I don't know this is. This is animals and dive. Dive sticks for pools and beaches and animals, which are his like bath toy. Because uh, they're great. They're like, yeah. Waterproof. We don't. Yeah, waterproof. Yeah, waterproof. Yeah. Uh, and then you and it's fun because like we yeah when he, when we see like an animal most of these are things we've seen. My parents got him this because we turned up in South Africa, and there was an alpaca at our doorway, so they got him this. We saw seals in Cornwall, um, camels all over India. 
more camels. We've lost a lot. He flushed a penguin down the toilet in Korea. So sorry to that host. We have a replacement penguin. So penguins in Cape Town as well. Anyway, it's fun to like get him the animals that we've seen along the way. This water bottle we bought in Rome right when we started. It's uh, that brand that makes those cool espresso pots and it's been fantastic. Uh, Shout out to my mom. She just got him this recently. It's some like transportation cars, like snack kind of game. It's great. He loves it. Uh, this is a $25 wireless baby monitor. It's Wise brand uh, that we got. We used to have it at my parents' house when they watched him and he was a baby. But we traveled with it because uh, occasionally we have babysitters and we like the peace of mind. We tell them, like there's a camera pointed on him when he's sleeping. And then this whole half of it is the only travel toy we have, not sponsored, maybe one day, uh, Lego. And we have accumulated this. This is a bag from Muji. And when you see this Lego dumped out on the floor, I'll probably insert a clip. I bet you would never expect that it fits in this this bag. So um, Lego is the best toy ever. Pete was obsessed with it, now Hayes is obsessed with it, and I love it because you don't need anything else. Like, I know this looks like a lot, but we have had it for a year and a half, we have three of It is great. Um, I had a few notes. We used to also travel with like uh, metal or plastic cups that we left somewhere. Those were great because like if you're in an Airbnb with only glasses and you have a three-year-old, it's kind of nice to like give them something that won't break. Not a necessity, but we had these metal cups in India that actually he had like broken one too many glasses. Um, and we picked those up. What else did? I was going to say also about bags. I mean, we like we said at the beginning, we did used to travel with this big like duffel bag full of all of Hayes's clothes and stuff. And um, kind of outgrew it, got more stuff, but it's actually been so much better now traveling with a suitcase. And we thought it would be a little bit difficult wheeling three suitcases around, but he loves it because he pushes it around the airports. And you don't have uh, to take everything out. Yeah. My only other note is we used to travel with a speaker up until Falmouth uh, when we left it at Pete's parents' house. Uh, that crucial, love that little tiny one. Um, so we can play music. And then nail clippers, I have them in here. This is a Hayes thing, but um, these I got when he was like born. They're like Frida baby, I don't know. Uh, he hates having his nails clipped, so I keep these actually in my backpack. And when he's sleeping, if he's napping or he's falling asleep on a train or something, I just like clip a few nails. Weird, but maybe that would be useful to somebody. Okay, backpacks, right? Oh, yeah. How long gosh. have we been talking? 26 minutes, show. Sure. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna be really quick, but this is our backpacks. This is a scarf, again, layers. I got this wool scarf in India, I love it. Um, it's like, it can also be a blanket if Hayes is sleeping on a train. This has been a hack of mine for a while, I mean, it's not a hack. I took a, I used to take high school girls to India and um, I was responsible for their passports and I could fit like 10 in here. We traveled with four. Uh, Pete is American and British. We don't use the British one a lot, but you can also put like tickets and stuff. I really recommend one of these. And then we also, this is the fun compartment, put all of the cur currency we have. So anytime we go on a trip, <laughs> I mean, it looks like maybe this is a lot. It's like a bunch of like Vietnamese dong and Mexican pesos. Um, we keep it in here and then we get really excited. When we're going somewhere and we have some cash. This is also where I keep my cameras. This might be controversial. Um, both of my cameras are just toss in places. They're both still working. We've had issues, but I find that like with this YouTube stuff, I want to make it as easy for myself, especially with a three-year-old, to like pull out a camera and film it. So the one I'm filming on now is the Sony ZV, but links for all this and below, Sony ZV-1 um, and I, just stick it in my Babu bag. I used to have a case for this, I left it in London. It was like a silicone one, but um, I find it's a balance between like, I wanna actually use them and if it's buried in like a massive camera bag, I'm not gonna use it, so. More clips, not to sleep mask. Um, this is another hack, this is a Muji bag. Pete actually, I had a different pouch, but Pete um, suggested this. It's got charged batteries here and then empty ones that need to be charged here. So when we get back home, it's easy to know like which ones need to be charged. There's also like lens wipes and whatever. This is like what has replaced that other tech bag. It's like the things I use on a day-to-day -day basis, like iPhone chargers and smaller. And this is the, this is my favorite kind of adapter. Just like buying these in the destination, like the teeny tiny ones. This is my preference, honestly. And then to maybe try, I would travel next time with like a handful of these for each destination and then one surge protector thing that could go into the tiny thing, because that would be a good setup. My other prized possession is this laptop stand. I've talked about this in a QA and a video. Um, but this allows me to edit and not have a sore neck, and it costs like $15 on Amazon. 
and tons of people, whenever you're using yeah. it, come up and ask you about it. This is a necklace that is made in Copenhagen. This is a camera uh, about it. And then this is like visas, COVID tests, whatever. A big pouch that like doesn't make you anxious of like, where did I put that? It's hot pink, I see it right now. Um, more coloring books for Haze. And a MacBook Air, which is what I use. Oh, and then again, so I said the packing cube thing. I, I don't use a ton of packing cubes, but I love miscellaneous pouches. These are like the makeup ones that my mom like gets free when she buys makeup or something, I don't know. I love, this is like shiny and purple and it's got our, what do you call these, hard drives? Mm -hmm. Which have like the small SD ones and our card reader. So like hard drives, important. I am pretty anxious. I want to be able to like look in a bag and know that I have it and that's why I keep them in that. And then a comb. A comb I don't travel in toiletries. This is like literally the only thing I have to brush my hair. And I usually, honestly, toss it into the baggy bag so that if I'm a mess, I can try to be slightly less of a mess. And then in the front pouch is where I put like um, AirPods. Oh, sorry, I have so many things that I love. I bought this before I left because I, oh, I'm from America, we don't use change as much as other countries. And I hate like wrestling through a big wallet or whatever. This is like a little change purse. Um, and it has been fantastic for destinations or whatever. And then as a wallet, we use uh, it's not thread. Oh, it is thread. I know there's like one that sponsors all these YouTube videos. It's not that, but it's the same thing. Um, it's just an elastic band with our cards and our cash, and we swear by these two. I can charge you. That's it. All right, real quick. This was my biggest regret when we set off traveling was purchasing this bag. Which it's, I told him was dumb. It's a that Swedish company with like the wolf logo thing. I don't like it. It's way too small. I should have got a Herschel bag. I always used to travel with Herschel bags. I will probably, when we do go off on our next big adventure, we'll get a Herschel bag because this is just like too small. Um, and I don't really have a great deal in it right now. Um, I also have my computer that I travel with. Uh, there's a GoPro in here. Um, there's a, I always, actually, whenever I fly, I always love to change into like tracksuit bottom type things. I don't know, it's just a me thing. If I'm wearing jeans, I hate wearing jeans on a long flight. I just, oh, I, I, I didn't mention my travel outfit. My travel outfit, which is also my like exercise outfit, oh. is uh, these pants and an athletic shirt. Okay. But I just wear them already on the plane. I do have something really cool in here. And this is actually in a big shout out because this is a local Chattanooga company. Um, but this is called a CPR wrap. I'll hold it really close there. And this is specifically for uh, children from one to eight years. Um, it's very specific, but if a kid went into, I don't know, I guess cardiac arrest or something, you need to resuscitate them. Um, it's this sort of uh, really cool pouch that, that helps you do that. It's got like instructions um, and all that kind of stuff. It's just a really, they're, they're awesome. Check them out. They're incredible. Um, so it's just, I don't know, it's good, to, it's good to have that on us. If you're American, I think they're in Walmart. So. Yeah. The very last thing is Hayes' bag. We used to talk about Hayes' bag. Now we, I have a battery, um, have this. We, yeah, we're very loyal to Herschel. This is Herschel, my backpack's Herschel. Pete wishes he has Herschel. When we started traveling, Hayes' duffel was Herschel and his diaper bag was Herschel. Big fans, not sponsored. Mm -hmm. Like, how am I have to say not sponsored all the time? Obviously not sponsored. Look at this video. It's like 30 minutes of us rambling. And bags. <laughs> um, love a pouch. Used to have a baggy pouch. I'm big fans of those. You've seen it a few times. We haven't explicitly called it out, but we lost that. But at the time we lost that, our friend Ludo, who loves to sew, sewed us. Not for this purpose, but this is our diaper pouch. And it's this beautiful bag, and it's got two pouches in here. So we keep wipes in one, diapers in the other. And again, you don't need a diaper bag. You need your man to be comfortable carrying a pink canvas bag. Doesn't have a pink, um, but this this fits in it. And then you're home enough to to replenish it. Yeah, but just also it's nice if you're at a restaurant or a bar and you're gonna go and change a diaper. It's just nice and discreet. You can oh, we used it. to have a diaper changing pad. Now he's three and a half and still not potty trained, so we change his diaper standing up. So I guess like maybe the Herschel diaper pad. I don't know if you can buy it separately from the diaper bag. That thing is the best because it fits the diapers and the wipes, and it is a pad. That is oh, great. Gonna get something okay, Hayes has headphones, they're Bluetooth. They also have a cord for, for airplanes. More coloring books. Hayes watches a lot of TV, but this makes it look like he's always like doing an activity. Change of clothes, loose diapers for a travel day when they don't fit in the pouch. And that's kind of Hayes's bag. So I, we're almost done. Oh, sunglasses that he, you know, usually doesn't wear. Love, I feel like we're very brand loyal in this. The Bagu face masks, when masks were more widely worn. We're so good. I was gonna mention that 
We travel also with an iPad. Um, we don't travel with books for Haze, but we use this app called Epic, and it's awesome. Big shout out to some friends of ours that told us about it, um, who've been traveling with their four-year-old now. Yeah. Um, they're also a full-time sort of travel, fa traveling family. Uh, they told us about it, and it's been a game changer because there is so, so many books on here. Um, and he loves it, so that's... And it's so, again, along with the lines of like buying an animal, whatever, you can... you can, So we just saw Billy Goat's Gruff in London at the Children's Theatre, and so I, he didn't know that story. So that night I was like, oh, let's see if there's a book on Billy Goat's Gruff, which of course there was, but same thing with Destinations. Oh, we're going to Copenhagen, let's read a book about Copenhagen. Oh, you really just loved that temple in India. He loves this book about Ganesh. Um, so stuff that we wouldn't really be able to do at home with physical books, because you can't have a library that big, is great with Epic. I would actually, it was a really good point. I know we've been rambling here, but that's the other thing I love about Lego is that when we go out and we're experiencing stuff, Hayes will say, oh, can we build that out of Lego? Um, and it's really fun to come back after a day of sightseeing and doing some cool experiences to actually come and like try and recreate. And I think that just reinforces a little bit the experience. Um, so another shout out to why we love Lego. Okay, two more things that I put in my notes, which now feels really stupid, but I'm gonna leave you with something I feel very strongly about. Cords. The way I pack cords is the best way. So, the fat end here, around your hand. Oh. Pete doesn't do it this way. Around your hand so you make a little thing. Loop-de-loop-de-loop-de-loop. -loop -loop. Tuck it in. This is the only way anybody should be packing a cord. It's just, it is just is. So that was a note. Another stupid note I wrote was that before we left I had all these like Luggage heads are like leathery and like lovely colors or whatever. Now that we're traveling with three away cases and two of them are the same color because actually, actually mine broke and they sent me a new one and I didn't return the other one. That's what cases are traveling with, so that's why they're the same color. We just bought these like super loud, colorful, plastic, really durable ones and they're great. Not because I'm concerned about like finding it at the airport, even though that's whatever, but like when we get to an Airbnb and you like just want to get in your bag and you want to know whose it is, it's so great. And Hayes loves it, like his is the blue one. Blah, 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 we've been talking so long. <laughs> but I think we'll be happy to have this for our memories. Sorry, I'm like looking at all the things on the screen to see if we have battery. Yeah. Um, no, you got loads of battery. You just so. have six minutes left on your card. Oh my goodness. So maybe you found something helpful in there. I don't know, maybe we'll make a, we're, I want to build a website anyway. So maybe by the time this goes up, I'll have a packing list. But that's what we needed for 18 months. And here now, is, oh, I hear my mom. Now. To clean up this mess. Hi, mom. Are you in no, the come in. We're ending. Oh, good. Well, here's the Are you a folder or a roller? Oh, I've been a roller for years, but I like to fold jeans and things that take up a lot of space. But what I really am is a um, packing cube addict. There you go. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. I don't know what video comes after this, so.